Welcome back, folks, to Let's Replay Stonekeeper. When last we left off, we freed Vermatrix the dragon from her captivity, and now we are a dragon friend. We also found Scuzz, who we offered to help get out of the place that he was in. We're going to lead him to somewhere far safer. Scuzz is a third member of the party, not in a very effective one, but he still is an extra pair of hands to fight the enemies that we encounter. Not that we're going to find many enemies here. Because we fell down that hole, by the way, we have an interesting interaction here in that when we approach this door, Scuzz is going to say something. Scuzz is right, and for some reason there was a piece of dialogue there that was completely missed. Perhaps that's because we've already gone through this door. Either way, we're going to uh, head back to the second floor of the feeding grounds. We may also want to use the, uh, now the rune circle's all the way down there. We can use the rune circle on the second floor before we head to the entirely new area. There's still a little bit of the uh, second floor of the feeding grounds to explore before we move on to the most important floor in the game. Not for the reason that you think it's important. We're going to just uh, go round these uh, corners and head over to that second floor. At this point, I know this route so well that I could probably do it without seeing where I'm going. I'd probably get lost, but I could certainly try. And we are back here. Where haven't we explored? There isn't that much. There is uh, mainly just down here. We might as well go and replenish our mana once we've gone down there, because we need to go to here to uh, go to the new area. Let's just uh, head this way, and I believe this will... Yep, this is the quick way for us to get to the area we haven't been to. We could also fill in that tiny part of the map that I haven't yet travelled down. Just go this way, that way, and slowly but surely, we will get to the only place we haven't been that will likely have no really difficult enemies in it. We'll just uh, step north one space here, because we never went there. We really had no reason to do so. Let's just go down here, and I think this might be the last location coming up just to the south, just past where Vermatrix's head was. Down here is a new area. Or there isn't a new area here, because we have found a cave-in. We can't go that way. We can go this way, though, and here is all the treasure that Vermatrix was talking about. Lots and lots of coins, and lots of gems. Is there anything else here apart from some coins that are entirely useless? There is a treasure chest. We're surely going to have a look in that. I thought there were only a few coins that uh, comprise Vermatrix's hoard, but I'd forgotten about here, clearly. Let's open this up and have a look inside. There's a healing potion. And another coin. We needed another coin, clearly. And another coin, and a scroll. This rune is called the Rune of Winds. It was developed to dust a wizard's castle, but is used more often as a weapon. Curious. We'll definitely mark down that we have the Rune of Winds. And anything else in here? Another scroll. It certainly does have its uses. We haven't had a use for it yet. We can drop that there. There's another scroll as well. This rune will heal wounds and most conditions. It has been found useful as a cure for poison especially. Very useful. We'll remember that. This is heal plus, basically. It's really good. Anything else? There's a gem. And that's it. Now, where did that coin go that I wanted to pick up? There it is! Let's mark down all of these runes that we've gained. There is one here. This is called the Rune of Winds. And this one, which is, uh, Cure Wounds and Conditions. We'll have to remember that it cures poison. Let's move on, shall we? Because we've explored pretty much everywhere that we can. 
we can't go down here. It does make sense that we can't go down here. This is where Vermatrix blasted a hole through the wall to escape this mine. And everything collapsed after she left, so we can't follow the route that she took. We want to go to here, and we're going to mark here as the Fairy Realm entrance. Because we're going to be using that, uh, entrance to, uh, Go in and see the fairies, if I can spell the word entrance correctly. It's a 50-50 shot at that point, as you can see. I'm just going to go this way and quickly pop over and do some healing. Not that we really need to do much healing for the fairy realm. As you can imagine, the fairy realm isn't the most dangerous location that we've been to. At least, not on the outset. There is certainly danger in the fairy realm. We're going to be finding that danger eventually. We're going to be spending a long time in the fairy realm. We need to uh, spend that time exploring, talking to everyone, and solving small quests. We haven't really had that many quests. The closest quest that we've had is the uh, reforging of the key, and also the draining of the sewers, and then uh, finding the pieces for the ultimate weapon the stone thrower. It is a pretty good weapon. You can use it to uh, throw stones. You have the uh, bag of stones in one hand and the uh, stone thrower in the other hand, and then you can just fire them off. As you can imagine, if you have the speed thing active from the uh, orb, it's a devastatingly powerful weapon. I think the bow might be more devastating, but then again, we do have a lot more rocks than we have uh, arrows. We'll just do a small bit of healing, and then we will carry on. There we go, healing done. More importantly, the rune staff has been replenished. We're not going to be needing that magic for a while, though. We will eventually need it, but for now, we need to go all the way over to here. We need to put down one of those flowers that we found on this floor, where the uh, fairies have been escaping to another realm. That is how we open the way to the Fairy Realm. And if we're lucky, the game won't horribly crash like it did on the original version when I was first playing it from my CD. Sometimes you'd go over to where the Fairy Realm is, and it would crash before you even got to the portal, and then sometimes it would crash after you've tried to step into it. I never figured out how uh, it did work and, and why it didn't work, but eventually I managed to get through it. Let's just go this way, over here, and over here. Eventually, we will figure out the route that we need to take. We're going to see this uh, aesthetic for levels for quite a bit, unfortunately. Even though the Fairy Realm looks quite different. It's not different to anything that we've seen before, because we have seen the design that the Fairy Realm has on other floors, but we haven't seen it that often. We want to go, I think, a little bit further down. There we go. Then we head this way, and soon we'll be where the fairies are. Also, there was a mana circle here. I think this is the only floor that has two mana circles. One here, and one over here. We are very close to where the fairy realm is. We're actually going to save right now, because uh, this could go horribly wrong. We need to find where the uh, flowers that we uh, picked up are. They can't be that far away. Or can they be far away? They might actually be miles away. There they are, right at the top. What we'll do is we'll uh, ignore these fairies, and we will put a uh, primrose right here, which opens up the way to the fairy realm. I like the fact that uh, they couldn't make it so that when you put the... Uh, primrose down, that you step onto the square where you place the primrose, and then you teleport, they have to put another square there, and that square is where the teleporter is. And so, saving once more, we're going to step into the greatest place in the game. Welcome to the Fairy Realm, a tonal shift so dramatic that it will give you whiplash because this place is everything that the rest of the game isn't. It's happy, it's jovial, and it's full of whimsical characters that just want to joke around and be happy and joyous. Everything that we haven't encountered so far in the game. 
and I'm sure Karzak is going to have a wonderful time here. Karzak is not going to have a wonderful time here. There are lots of items for us to grab, and we want to grab every single one of them. Everything that we encounter could be useful. Let's grab this and let's move forward. Eventually, we'll find somebody to talk to. And by somebody, I mean that we're going to find loads of people to talk to. There's more things to grab, loads of things. Hi there! This is your body. And this is your body in the fairy realm! <laughs> Any question? I have one question. Why did you try and turn me around there? That is Snort. We're going to be meeting a lot of fairies here. There are a lot of people here. Eventually, we'll find all of the fairies all in one big group. We'll just uh, head, I think, this way. And maybe we'll find somebody that can explain just what's going on in the fairy realm. Oh, who am I kidding? Nobody's going to explain anything about what's going on in the fairy realm. It's for us to figure out as we go along, and grab absolutely everything. Welcome to the realm of fairy! It's a pleasure to see you! Good to see you! Good to see you! Hello! Go home! Now then, I have a very important question for you. Do you have your fairy handbook yet? Uh, no. Good, because you don't need one! Got you there! What you do need are performances from the fairy players! And that's us. <laughs> I'm Chuckle, this is Giggle, that's Snort the Fairy. That's my name, not a suggestion. <laughs> and that's Winkle, Binkle, and, um, oh yes, Murph. Don't make me angry, dog tick. You're not gonna like me when I'm angry. I don't think much of you now. Murph? <sighs> oh, Murph! Sorry. Yes. Now then, the fairy players perform all over the fairy realm, so look for us around the fairy corner from you. Who had? Hello, hi, hi. If you haven't figured it out yet, we attack fairy onto just about everything. Fairy songs, fairy hats, fairy creatures, fairy unseen court. You'll get the idea. Yes, and now we bid you adieu. Uh, by the way, uh, did I mention uh, compensation? A stipend, if you will. <laughs> the big payoff. <laughs> oh, rec rec uh, recompense. Cash and prizes. <laughs> you did mention that. Muff. Sorry. Pay for play. That means you got to give us something. Spunky. <laughs> and now, off to prepare our play! Away! Away! Let's just beat it! Can I just fall on my axe now? Aren't we going to have so much fun here in the fairy realm? Isn't that right, Karzak? I get the feeling you're not happy that we brought you here. Karzak is not happy here. That just sets the entire tone for the fairy realm, and would you believe it, there are quite a lot of songs that the fairy players will sing, and we're going to be hearing all of them in time, and we're going to be talking to pretty much everyone. Do you like my dress? I'm not a cutie, I'm a fairy! <laughs> I think I'm going to be sick. I look better if I had my daisy chain. Oh, I think Giggle with it. He's a little poo head. Would you find my daisy chain, please? <laughs> You're cute! 
So we have a quest now. We need to go and find a daisy chain. It's actually important to write this down. We also need to write down that Giggle likely had it. This is where Sweetie is. It's very important in the fairy realm to write down where everyone is, and also what everyone wants, because we're going to be fetching a lot of items from one location to the other. You can come here without Karzak. You can also come here without Skuz. But it's so much better if you bring both of them along. Isn't that right, Karzak? Okay, we're not going to keep asking you if you're having fun. You're not having fun. We'll grab this, though. Always good to have this. Always good just to grab everything that we can find. We haven't found a single enemy here. That's because there really aren't any enemies here at the moment. This place is entirely bereft of combat. Entirely bereft of danger. The only danger we have is that Karzak will eventually just try and kill every fairy that we encounter. This item is different. It looks like a, a vase which water can be contained within. There is also a giant mushroom. It has no purpose apart from being a slight obstacle. Let's just keep looking around, shall we? In this whimsical world of wonder. It's going to be quite a long time that we're going to be exploring. This place is large. This is also a uh, flower that we haven't seen before. It's probably worth having a look at our items and seeing what we've picked up that's new. We don't want to have a look that way. We want to have a look this way. We found Wild Thyme, an empty decanter, Foxglove, a Gladiola, a strange mechanical device, pieces to a strange mechanical device, a sturdy key, flint but a usual colour and texture, half of a very sturdy key, a chisel, a primrose. We also found the Ring of Poison Resistance and a few other things. Which orbs do we currently have? We have uh, Azriel's orb there. And we have uh, another orb as well. We have quite a few orbs. Even the music is happy and joyous. We've got a lot more walking around to do before we get anywhere where we can find somebody to talk to. Let's just uh, head this way. And there is another mushroom. Don't mind me, mushroom. I wouldn't be surprised if you'd have said, that's okay, because this is the fairy realm and anything can happen. Anyone can talk to us and... Hello? They said... I'm not gonna kill him, that's all. No one would notice. He wouldn't even scream until after he's dead. That I should give you this. They were laughing a lot. I don't get it. Goodbye, Murph. Let's read what this is. This room is from a very, very, very Murphy fairy. I still don't get it. I don't get it either, but it's a spell, and I have no idea what it does. We'll mark this down in earnest. Look, we have the Murphy rune. Let's just uh, mark this down. Here we go. Murphy rune. Critical to completing the game. There we go. Excellent. I don't think I even spelled completing correct. Let's change that to finishing the game. See, the fairy realm is making me not spell words correctly. We'll just uh, mark that down. Ignore the little star there. This rune is critical to completing the game. We'll just go this way. Maybe we'll find Murph again. We'll find all of this, and we'll also find something sweet and tasty for us to eat. It's a small cake. We'll grab all of this, and that looks important too. It's a violin or some sort of musical instrument. Let's find out exactly what it is. It's a fiddle. Let's just uh, keep that on our person. I thought it looked like a violin. Turns out it's a fiddle. Anything over here? Uh, hello? I'm looking for my fiddle. Hey, have you seen it? I'll tell you what, I'll drop my drawers to get my fiddle back. If you happen to go over into the troll area to look, watch out for that nasty one in the west. Ooh, that's foul. You've got my fiddle. It's a love thing. Cha-ching. I'll trade you for it. 
we really want to make this trade. The item that he's going to give us is very useful. Gotta love it! Whoa! I told you I'd drop my drawers for it. Thanks! He wasn't kidding, by the way. There are a pair of pants. They're more important than you think they'd be. They actually provide protection against one type of enemy, an enemy type unique to this realm. It actually confers, I think, about 33% protection? Or is it 25? There are either three or four parts to this set of armor. Armor in loose terms, by the way. And when you wear all of it, you become entirely immune to damage from one enemy type. I won't say what type it is yet, although we have been told the name of that enemy by that fairy. Hello? Who are you? Let's say hello. Oh, I think that poo head giggle hid my drum. He's as bit bad about drums as trolls are about bells. Bells, eh? Let's mark that, um, this is where another one of the, um fairies is, and that we should mark that uh, we need to bring a drum here. There are a lot of fetch quests for us to do, and nothing to uh, attack or kill. No wonder Karzak is getting a little bit annoyed. Just a tiny bit annoyed. Let's just uh, keep looking around. We're at a crossroads here. We could go in any direction that we choose. But that will be for next time. For when we come back, folks, we will continue exploring the happiest place in Stonekeep, the Fairy Realm. We'll have a wonderful time, I'm sure. Finding pieces of clothing, picking up cakes, and grabbing every single flower that we find. It's going to be wonderful, isn't it, Karzak? I see the look of disdain that he's giving me, and I'm just going to look away now. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. But wait, before we end the video, we need to talk about the voice actors that we've just encountered. There are going to be a lot more in the Fairy Realm, but I'm going to mention the four that we've already seen, starting with Elizabeth Daly, who played Sweetie. Elizabeth Daly has also been, among her many roles, the UAC facility voice in 2016's Doom, Tommy Pickles in Rugrats, Buttercup in The Powerpuff Girls, and Babe in Babe Pig in the City. We also heard Rob Paulson, who was Chuckle and Snort. Rob Paulson was Yakko in The Animaniacs, Pinky in Pinky and the Brain, Kivan in Baldur's Gate, and Spike in Milan Before Time 2, and many of the other films afterwards in Milan Before Time series, among his many other roles. Then there was Steve Mackle, who's Giggle and Binkle. He was Short Customs Dog in All Dogs Go to Heaven 2, Hyperman in the Adventures of Hyperman series, and Jasper Dog in the Cartoon Cartoon Show, among his other roles. And finally, we have Jeff Bennett as Murph and Winkle. He was Johnny Bravo in Johnny Bravo, Kowalski in the Penguins of Madagascar TV series, the principal in Gravity Falls, and various voices in Tales from Earthsea, among his many roles that he's done. I'm sure you're going to love it here, Karzak. Just get into the fairy realm spirit. It's all happy and joyous and everything that dwarves love. Oh wait, maybe you don't like it here. But I'm sure we won't be here that long. We're going to be here for quite a while. And so, when we come back, folks, more exploring the fairy realm. Isn't it going to be wonderful? And so, I'll catch you next time, folks and I'll see you then. Later.